Hello, today I would like to show you my cobbles automatic cobblestone factory. It is completely automated and actually unlike other piston based cobblestone generators, it will actually give you blocks, not well, it will give you the block and entity form instead of like these. So how it's based is here is the on off switch which then powers this piston and well these three pistons that rely on the feature of redstone repeaters so when it is so when this block is powered this repeater will take that power so it also has it here and um so after this block is pushed down this piston will automatically push it this way to this piston and then this piston is set with its own its own power source and repeater and it will do it there too so basically what happens is starts here generates it goes all the way over here and then here it takes it in three and shoots it out horizontally in a row of three which then goes to these nine pistons in a three by three grid that will push it up in a column that column will then go travel to here where it will come up go use the same redstone repeater feature and kill this chicken there we go um and then go detonate this TNT with the repeater so that right after it detonates it's pushed down this shaft destroying the 9x9 nine nine, or 9 cobblestone that are in the 3x3 three three grid that, um, so we'll destroy that and but before each time when a column is about to be pushed up these pistons on either side and a piston beneath this Ooh. what just happened that was a weird glitch um or maybe i left a hole i'm not sure um let me check no nope, it glitched out that's weird um but there's a hole here and then a piston goes and allows the water to continue that way and then here is brings it down a trough down to a collection area down there. So um I can't really explain it well because um I'm this is the first I've ever really done with any redstone wiring. So um but uh to explain the uh TNT reloader right here a little bit after this piston fires and goes back this is an AND gate with a um, inverter right here so when it's inverted signal it will push make this uh, piston push here and then it will be delayed with some repeaters Then this piston pushes goes back sand comes down so it can continue going along this area so now um I guess I will stop talking and um I'll let the factory kind of <coughs> explain itself so um a few little facts about the factory is that it will make 190 cobblestone an hour which basically shows 
how inefficient this design is, and, well, that using TNT as a whole is inefficient. And, um, so, 190 an hour, and, um, from my measurements, and then, uh, it takes approximately 13 minutes for all the TNT up here to be used and then have to reload it so it's not completely automatic obviously you need to reload TNT periodically it works but it's not 100% efficient, in, uh, efficient as you as obviously would not be like see this one actually did not give me any cobblestone from that TNT bot blast, which is unfortunate, and um, doesn't lead to good yields, obviously. So the yield is very low, and um, at the moment with this, uh, I'd consider it a revision, first revision. Yeah, actually, not even revision. this would be the uh, first concept. Still a more of a concept, but um, so it's not going to work oh. if you actually want to use it really oh. for making TNT. I don't advise it, or making copper. I don't advise it because it is too inefficient. You can actually mine more cobble with a diamond pick than what you'll get with this factory if you were to make a factory that involved four of these and you offset them you could obviously a decent amount of cobble with very little work but um, at the moment it's just not worth it because you'll actually lose blocks because how many sand it takes to make TNT and you'll need a ton of gunpowder so it's not advised I mean you can you can do this if you have a uh, if you live, I guess if you live in a desert biome and you have a massive mob uh, farm then go for it and I'll you can try this but um other than that just efficient it's a cool little Thing that shows you what can be done, but uh, still a concept very much. And, uh, so, if anyone has any comments, suggestions, if you want a tutorial, tell me. Um, I really can't explain this, so as you can tell, I'm struggling through this video. But um, so it's. It, they, uh, I'll throw out my um, automatic cobblestone factory. Oh, I in that last explosion. Or explosion. So, as you can see, the longer you have it running, the yields do seem to get a little bit better. It, it tends to average itself out a bit. So, um, that's it. And, uh, just any suggestions, comments, I'd be happy to have them. And uh, it's getting night here, so uh, bye.